The Minnesota Black Coaches Association launched its inaugural George Floyd Basketball Classic yesterday, an invitational tournament featuring Minneapolis North, Park Center, and two out-of-state guests. As WCCO's Norman Seawright reports, one had very close ties to the tournament's namesake. Even though we're from different cities and states, different climates, but at the end of the day, we're still the same. The George Floyd Classic reflects the mission of Minnesota's Black Basketball Coaches Association. George is like a family to us. Like Yates, Yates alumni, he was like a family to us. Every day, we miss him every day, and so the one thing we want to do is do it for him. As the Classic opened on Tuesday with Minneapolis North facing Yates High School, where Floyd was a star basketball player. George was a good friend of mine, so I mean, I'm just happy to be here and be able to, you know, represent. The coaches also re-examine the roles they play in student athletes' lives. Mentoring primarily black male and black females, right, a large part of our role is not about X's and O's. The George Floyd Classic is about competition, it's about learning, and it's about development for the kids and for the community. And hopefully we can, we can learn from each other as far as character and, you know, the difference in the neighborhood and, you know, what can we do as far as creating, um, program so these kids can have opportunities. The shared goal is to help kids be the changes they want to see in the world. I want them to see uh, leaders overlook the stereotype and just see us as great human beings in the world and people who that can do more than just what people usually think of black men, you know, violence and stuff. Norman Seawright, WCCO for Sports. Count